Namaste all. Today's joy of reading story is In My Garden. The author and illustrator is Purnima Chandar and the publisher is Pratham Books. In My Garden. What is a garden? A garden is a place where you grow plants, flowers, plants which are vegetables and everything. You can see this is the garden. You can see there is someone standing because we can see the shoes here. There are small worms or insects here. Then you have plants, you have leaves fallen. So whoever is talking about this uh, is talking about their garden in my garden, the person's garden here. I am going to the garden. It is time to water the plants. So this is the girl who's talking about in my garden, that is her garden. So she says she's going to the garden. Look at this beautiful garden with beautiful flowers and plants. And what is the time now? What is the time? It is time to water the plants, pour water to all the plants there. There is a bed of flowers, such bright and beautiful colors. So there are lots of flowers, many flowers here. If there are many flowers, you call it bed of flowers. And they all look pretty, beautiful. And they're all like bright. So it's like really shining and nice. There is an army of caterpillars. They look just like the grass. So these are caterpillars. These are the small insects you find on trees. From them come out butterflies. So look at these caterpillars. There are many of them. Again, many. And what is it if you have many caterpillars? Army of caterpillars is what you will call it. And they all just look like the grass itself. You can't differentiate them. You cannot, you cannot distinguish them from the grass. They look same like the grass. There is a row of pebbles. They seem to form a spiral. So there are many pebbles again. What are pebbles? They are these smooth stones that you can find. And when there are many of them, you call them a row of pebbles and they form a spiral. A spiral is like a circle. So it is like this. There is an autumn of leaves scattered around. I hear them rustling in the wind. So see, there are many leaves here. When you have many leaves, you call it autumn of leaves. Scattered. Scattered means it's lying here, it's lying there, it is lying there, it is lying here. So everywhere it is there, right? The leaves are there everywhere. So it means scattered around. And then I hear them. I hear what? When the leaves like in the, the wind comes and the leaves are going here and there, you hear a sound like zzz, 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 zzz. that's a rustling sound. The what sound that the leaves make when the wind blows them, it's a rustling sound. Cheep, cheep. I look up and see a flock of birds. So something is sounding cheep, 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 cheep. What is it? Birds in the sky. And when there are many birds, you say a flock. A flock of birds when there are many birds. Suddenly, a blanket of grey clouds forms in the sky. It looks like it's about to rain. So, it was all nice and bright. But then, Suddenly, there are clouds in the sky, right? You can see that these are all clouds. And what color are they? Gray color. It means it's going to rain. So, you call it a blanket of gray clouds. Where do you use the word blanket? In the night, we put the blanket about our heads and sleep, right? That's a blanket. Since these 
clouds cover the sky, you call it a blanket of gray clouds here. Gray because of the color of the clouds. Clouds also look white, right? On a nice and bright, shiny, sunny day. It is time to go indoors again. So when it rains, what should we do? Can we stay outside? Yes, it's fun to play. But we also have to go inside the house or indoors. A collection of patterns. Groups of things form patterns. From the patterns on the leaves to the patterns formed by the colorful flowers, there is so much that can be discovered when we look closely. So, what is a pattern? When something, when a design keeps repeating, it is a pattern. So, um, uh, you have like one, one leaf, then two leaves here, one leaf here, two leaves here, one leaf, two leaves here. Then it is a pattern that is getting repeated. It's a design that is getting repeated. So, we have a group of things will always form. Many things form patterns. And you can find patterns on the leaves, patterns from formed by the flowers. There is so much that we can see. Let's see what and all, what patterns we read about today. The bed of flowers interchange between groups of three and four. So we saw the bed of flowers, many flowers, right? So here you can see there are three flowers. Here, one, two, three, four flowers. Again, three flowers. Again, four flowers. So, three flowers, four flowers, three flowers, four flowers. The pattern, the design keeps repeating again and again. The army of caterpillars is in a zigzag line. So, the caterpillars are like this, right? So, zigzag is going like this, going like this. Zigzag. Zigzag, not a straight line, but ting, like ting, 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 like that. So you can see it's going in. This is called a zigzag line. So they are in a zigzag line. The row of pebbles forms a spiral. So the, the pebbles here, you can form, they form a spiral. So see, you can see this is called a spiral. It goes in a circular way. The autumn of leaves appears in a repeating pattern. So the leaves are like this, right? So you can see the pattern here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The flock of birds forms a V-shaped pattern. So here you can see the birds are all flying in a V-shape, the letter V in the English alphabet. The blanket of clouds appears in horizontal lines. So the clouds, horizontal means like this. This is horizontal. So the line, it is appearing like one line, second line, third line. So horizontal is this. What is vertical? Vertical means it is like that. But here the clouds are in a horizontal line, one after the other. So the clouds form a pattern like this. So I hope you enjoyed this story with me. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are pattern, a design that keeps repeating, pebbles, a small round and smooth stone, caterpillar, the larva stage of a butterfly or moth. Not all caterpillars become butterfly, some of them become moths and some of them die. Try these questions. List down all the patterns in the story and the names of the different collections. Observe for patterns around you formed from natural things. Thank you.